Hello everybody, Nell here from The Four Corners, and welcome to a video talking about Lloyd and Season 16. So when we look at the 2022 set list, there's only really four Season 16 sets. The other ones are just remakes of sets we've gotten in the past. They might pop up in the show, but the main idea here is Lloyd is getting a dragon, and it's a big one. And it's super exciting, it's gonna have a dark blue belly and everything. And if this is a robot dragon or whether it's a real dragon, that's going to change a lot. Because if it's a robot dragon, then we can't really assume much about the Season 16 plot. It's just pretty much like Lloyd getting another typical Ninjago vehicle. Story-wise, it's really not going to make a difference if Lloyd gets a jet opposed to a robot dragon. Because both of them are going to fly in the show and both of them are going to get him out of equal situations. However, if Lloyd is getting a real dragon, that means a lot because a real dragon does a whole lot more than just transport the ninja. It usually means a new power is being unlocked. For example, Nia and the water dragon set from Seabon. Nia is the water dragon. I mean, some really good examples would be Zane's titanium dragon from season 4. That was a really important thing in the show and that's why we got a set for it. And also the ultra dragon from season 1 and 2. And who could forget Firstborn from Season 9? That was the ultimate dragon. So every time specifically a ninja is getting this giant real-life dragon, it really motivates the story a lot. And it tells us that the next season is mostly going to be about that ninja, and that ninja might learn a new power. So that means Season 16 might be a Lloyd season because he's the only one getting this giant dragon. It doesn't seem to be a consistent theme with the other ninja. Will they actually focus on him, or will he just be on the boxes? I'm not sure. Because in the island, he was on the boxes and people thought he would be focused. But it wasn't really about him, and I don't think we need another Lloyd focus season. He already gets focused on a lot, and I think the next time Lloyd should access a new power or actually be paid attention to is when he closes things with Karmadon. Because other than that, I feel like any other ninja can easily take that spot and make the season more interesting than just having Lloyd do stuff again. Especially with snakes as villains. But again, remember, it really depends on if this dragon is a robot or real. I'm pretty sure it's real because in the Promobricks website, he has told us that the head for this dragon is going to be molded. And they don't really do molded heads unless it's a real dragon. For a robot-like thing, they can easily brick build that. And that makes total sense over there. However, that is all for this video, talking about if the next season is going to be a Lloyd season and how the legendary dragon is telling us a lot about it. I'm still very excited for the upcoming season and I can't quite tell what's happening. There's snakes, there's Lloyd, we have the Fenstone buyer, and Nauticon, and all those things in the mix and I'm not sure which one they're going to pick as a story. Thank you for watching and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.